Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my another video session wherein we will be discussing a real time problem which most of you would be facing while you migrate the code from automation anywhere version 11 to automation a360. So before we start our session for the day I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you can receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay let us start our session for the day. So so as you can see this is our code in version 11 and over here if you have created any variable which would be of type array so if you have created an array type variable in automation anywhere v11 so when you migrate this code to automation a360 that is to this version so it will automatically get converted to a table variable which would uh, which would also contain like zero rows and zero columns and when you will try to map this uh, map this subtask in the main task so this so it would say that it does not have an input or output values that this which would mean that which would it assume like that this particular task does not contain any input or output very input or output variables so let us see an example so uh, so you have to log into your automation anywhere with your eighth uh, with your bot creator credentials so once you log in with your bot creator credentials so now over here you need to call your run task command So when you call the run task command, so over here you need to select the you need to select the task that is uh, that is which you need to select or which you need to call in your child bot. So my location of the task bot is present over here. So I would just search for me57 and press enter, and I will select this me57 copy, and then I will click on choose button. So once you click on the choose button you can see that it says th that there is no input and output variables. So first of all just click on the save button and go to that on and go to that task bot that is MA57 copy task bot. And just open this task bot in another tab. And from over here, just copy all the variables that is go to the variables panel and then click on this three dot button and then click on copy variable to share clipboard. And then this pop up will come. You need to dra drag and drop, you need to scroll down to the bottom and then click on the copy button. So once you click on the copy button, your variables are copied to the share clipboard. And then come over here in your main uh, automation tab and go to the my task uh, option. And then over here open this untitled uh, untitled task bot which you have given the day which you have given the name. And over here you just need to click on the paste from shared clipboard method uh, paste for paste from shared clipboard button and then click on continue button and then click on the save button. So now again we will use the run task option from the task from the task package from the task bot package drag and drop the run task bot option and then select the me57 uh, copy as the task bot. So go to this uh, required directory where your task is located that is me57 and then press enter. And then click on this ME57 uh, copy radio button and then click on the choose button. So now if you see once you select the task it says that it has no input and output uh, variables which are mapped. But if you go to that if you go to that specific task bot so you can see the variables are mapped as input and output which means there is some issue uh, while you are calling the task bot. Uh, so there is some issue with the variables that are present in the taskbot. So you need to check your uh, so you need to check your 
each and every variable which uh, might be having an issue so in our case it we, uh, in our case uh, for this particular example the issue is with this table variable so if you double click on this table variable and then click on the edit table so over here you need to define it by you you need to delete this variable that is you need to select this three dots against this table variable and then click on the delete variable and then click on the save button so once you click on the save button you need to recreate your table variable select the data type as table and then click and then give the name to your uh, table variable that is table variable i will keep the same name and then click on create button before clicking on create button i will use i will select the users input and output chatbots and then i will click on the create button so once you click on the create button the ta the table variable will be created but the difference over here is it would now get created with at least one row and one column so now if you go back to your parent taskbot and then click on reload taskbot so you can see the so you can see now the input and output variables have come so now over here you can pass in your input and output variables so in order to map the output variables you need to click on this quick map variables and then click on the apply button so once you click on the apply button all the output variables from that taskbot would come or would be reflected over here so this is how you can resolve your uh, so this is how you can resolve your uh, issue that is while migrating the code from v11 to a360 that is when when you face with this situation that is after calling the taskbot you get this task has no input and output variables so with that we have come to the end of our video discussion wherein we saw the real time problem that is where the where you select the taskbot and no input and output variable mapping comes in the parent bot uh, in the parent bot so if you have any queries regarding this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer all your queries so before we wind up our session for the day i re i request every one of you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification icon so that you can receive all the latest updates and notifications uh, so that you can receive all the latest updates and notifications which which we keep posting on our youtube channel thank you all and have a great day